All right, here we go. Ethan Smith, the Ohio State University. We're here, here at Final X. We just got done. Mar Stellar beats JB, the legend. I know. What do you think about the match? Uh, I think the match is incredible. Uh, you know, I've been watching Jordan Burrow since I see him lose. But also, you know, knowing Chance Marceller's story, you know, he had a lot of stuff uh, going on in his life. To be able to come back from that and then, you know, be one of the legends in the sport, that, that, that guy earned all the things and worked his ass off. So that's really cool to see. And the sport is crazy, by the way. Like, something like that just happened on the screen. Uh, so I, I love it. That's why I'm here. There's no breaking news here. You know, we watch you from a distance. You're on a raised platform, but we know the, the sport is crazy, and you're breaking the news here to us. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen never on any know. given day, you right? Never know. Yeah. Is that what drives you in this sport? Yeah, that, that's what did. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what your ranking is, what, what freaking school you're going to, dude, anything can happen. If you're putting in the work, you believe in yourself, that's the most important thing. Uh, dude, anything can happen. That's what I love so much about this sport, because it's just you out there, you know? You know, your coaches, your family, everyone can tell you everything they want, but it's just you out there. So that's why I love this sport. Well, I've seen you from a distance jump levels what does it take especially in a division one level right so let me back up we focus a little bit on ohio kids that can make it yeah. you're not from ohio but you came out here you believed in the system doesn't matter division one two in you know uh community college whatever what does it take somebody like you to jump jump levels when you believe in the system yeah uh I think, I think for that is uh, you got to surround yourself with some really good people. Um, so for me, luckily, I was at Ohio State. I had a lot of good guys that could lift me up all the time. So I think there, there was a period in my life uh, when I was in college where maybe I was going down a, 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 a more broad path. Right? I wasn't going the straight and narrow, you know, going out, partying. Um, and I, you know, I kind of kind of pulled my shit together, and I was like, you know, I want to I want to surround myself with this guys on the team. I want to make sure I'm doing this. And yeah, I think you could, and everyone, especially all the fans, could see a direct change in my wrestling from there. So, um, if you, if you, if you want to be competitive at the D1 level, before anything else, you have self belief. You have some kind of faith in yourself, or you know, I, I encourage everyone to go out and find God, find your faith. Um, but that, I, 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 you, you surround yourself with good people, and that's what I did. So I think that's the, the secret sauce is who you surround yourself with. All right, so we cover wrestling. You're a wrestler. You're a Division One wrestler. You're an All-American. But what you just said is a recipe for success in life. So at Wrestlers in Business Network, what we're trying to do is correlate what you brought to the mat in a Division One level where we got to go there, 5,000, 6,000 people, and watch you perform. But grassroots level, we're trying to get wrestlers and connections with wrestlers out into give that feel into the community. How do we do that? How do you see that happening? Like, what do you want to do? What's next for you with giving back to the sport? Yeah, so actually um, through networking and the people that I know and Brad Jennings and Lance McGuire, my boss right now, uh, we've been friends for, for like a year now. Um, and that's, I, I'm, so right now I do pharmaceutical sales. And I've been there for like two months, I love it. But I would never, I would have never had this opportunity had it not been for wrestling. Wrestling is what gave me this opportunity. So anyone I tell, if you give your order wrestling, it's going to give something back to you. Mainly because of the people that you meet in the sport. And I've met some really incredible people. That's why, you know, uh, I have the job that I had. So, I mean, yeah, it, it, I think the big, the biggest piece of advice like, to answer that question is when you're in school, network, network, network. Come to these events. Wrestling is a business network. So we have these things. We have guys like me, Kenny Romero. You have the guys that, uh, you know, hired me. You have Mr. Jennings. His name's on the freaking building. All of these guys are here to help. They, un they have unconditional love and support. So any guy that's in it that wants to move up in life, they're here to help. So uh, that's how you do it, dude. Be yourself, go out and talk, meet new people. You can think, like, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? If someone doesn't air to you back or they tell you no? Put yourself out there. That's how you make the connection. Well, I appreciate you coming representing you know, Central Ohio, Ohio State Wrestling, Wrestlers and Business Network. On a wrestling level, what's next for Ethan Smith? On a wrestling level, I think I'm done competing for good. Um, I, I really hope to stay involved with the sport. I still coach on the side. I have some camps coming up this summer. Um, I would never say goodbye to the sport of wrestling. But for me, competing is done.
Yeah. All right. Well, you heard it here first, right? Yep. All right. So I appreciate your time tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else you got for us? Um, no. Go Bucks. Go Bucks.